So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to this screencast in which I'm going to show you real quick how you can link a domain from uh, a domain to Google Cloud Computing and if you are actually running a Google Cloud Compute Engine instance then you might want to link it to a domain instead of using just the IP address every time to access it and uh, obviously you have to purchase the domain first if you are um, gonna going with .com or .net or .org or whatever and uh, right now I'm just making use of this free domain right so you can do that as well otherwise if you have purchased it from sites like Namecheap or maybe GoDaddy or whatever you can find this uh, DNS section somewhere and you should be good to go so now what you have to do is uh, go to your project inside your Google Cloud and uh, let's just go with this one only so I'm going to um, compute engine and I'm going to my instances page and just to find out that uh, I do have some instances running you can see that I have one instance running here and then what we have to do is go to this VPC networks and go to external IP addresses to verify that you are running a static IP address and not an ephemeral one so that your IP address does not change automatically otherwise you will lose access to the domain as well the domain would not point to the right IP address the next thing you have to do is go to network services and this cloud DNS right here you should not see anything but what you have to do is create a zone and once you do that actually we can do it right away as well so I can create a zone and name it like FP for you which is the domain I am registering right now and right here inside DNS name you need to write your domain name .tk which is a free domain and I have created this you can see that we get two records by default so what you want to do is add a record set and the first one would be blank and this would this would consist of your IP address so you need to go back to your instances page to take a look at what your IP address is for that particular instance you want to map the domain to and uh, just copy and paste that uh, right here inside your IPv4 column and looks like yeah we are here so if I can just copy this thing and paste it right here and uh, we can do a similar thing with uh, the www right here and there we go how uh, we can just create both of these records right so now we have this fp for you dot tk done and we want to lo take a look at this registrar setup thing so you can see that google tells you to paste these four as the DNS name servers so just go ahead on your registrar and you should be able to locate this column somewhere right just like I said on Namecheap it's somewhere inside your uh, domain management GoDaddy it would be somewhere but it is usually very easy to find and uh, you should be good to go so if you take a look you can see that these are all a1 a2 a3 a4 numbers so you can just copy and paste this a couple of times and just change this right here right and just change the name servers so once you do that your name servers would be updated really soon it takes a little while maximum 24 hours but the changes start reflecting at least on the proxy servers within 10 to 15 minutes so you might not be able to access uh, something like this right now but uh, you would be able to access it um, using a proxy server like something like K proxy really soon and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this one and I guess it would take a little time you can see that it's not live right now and after some time what you should see is that if you visit your domain again and right now you can see that it says me before you 
.tk server DNS could not be found. And when you reload this, after some time, you can see that the message changes that it refused to connect now. Now it refused to connect because uh, um, no server is running on the instance for which I am using this domain. So now what you have to essentially just do is set up your server. Once you get this message, that means your domain is correctly linked to your instance. And if you had already set it up the server, then pretty much you should see your site by now. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching.